Good, Good morning, morning, Channel 74 News. I'm Eli Bailey, and today is the first day of March. Eli, today is February 29th, not March 1st. What are you talking about? February only has 28 days. This is a leap year, which adds an extra day to the year. Really? I think that's fake news, man. Trust me. Look it up. Anyways, on to the news. Besides Mamma Mia starting tonight, Sasses has other big events coming up. That's right, Janai. Next Wednesday is the annual Art Rages celebration from 5.30 till 7 p.m. here at the high school. Artists from kindergarten through 12th grade will have their work on display. Be sure to check it out. Another big event coming up is Cultural Diversity Week from March 18th through the 22nd. Reporter Everett Rahman spoke with Ms. Keller and some of her students to get the details. Here's that report. Thanks, Janai. Joining me today is Mrs. Keller and a few of her students. Thanks for taking your time to speak with Channel 74. Mrs. Keller, you and your students have planned a Cultural Diversity Week in March. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so it's the first ever uh, Cultural Diversity Week here to celebrate all the different cultures that make up the Shippensburg Area Senior High as well as the community. Um, it's going to take place in March, so it's going to be from March 18th through the 22nd. And on each day we're going to celebrate a different culture, um, both in the announcements and then also in the food. Um, one of the food lines in the cafeteria will be serving the highlighted culture for that day. And then on Friday, the 22nd, we'll have a special schedule that day as well as a um, cultural event and talent show. Very interesting. Um, so speaking about the talent show, uh, can you give us some details regarding that? Sure. Um, so one important date is actually next week. So on Monday, March 4th, right after school at 2.45, you can find me along with some other teachers and principals, and um, we'll be doing the tryouts for the talent show. So make sure you bring um, all your clothes, props, music, anything that you would need for your act. You can sign up for the tryouts in my room, room nine. And then um, the talent show itself is going to be, again, like I said, on uh, March 22nd. It's on a Friday. All right, thank you for that information. Um, and then finally, uh, we're going to be asking these two right here something specific about their culture um, that they want to share. So here you go. I'm Sashika from Nepal. And in the talent show, we're going to be dancing to a Nepali traditional song. And it, we're going to be wearing a Nepali traditional dress. Um, my name is Samicha, and I'm from Nepal. And one thing about my my culture is the food in it because they're all very like flavorful and like good and my favorite is momos because it's very it it tastes very flavorful thank you that's some really cool stuff so thanks for your time today and now we're going to go back to eli and janai nice job everett eli are you going to enter the talent show you know it I'm working on a rap right now, and I'm going to kill that beat on stage. Just don't rap about the leap year. It's fake. Yesterday, reporter Apollo Sinquedo braved the rain to get the Kiss the Cow story. Here's Apollo. Thanks, Janai. I'm here at Kiss the Cow with Madeline Dietrich Cochran, Mrs. Moose, Mrs. Beer, and her FFA students. Madeline, what's your cow's name, and how long have you had her? Uh, her name is Siren, and I've had her about four years. She was one of my show calves. Alana, what's the purpose of Kiss the Cow fundraiser? So we do the Kiss the Cow fundraiser so we, that we can um, make money to support our um, FFA members in our community. So um, this year we sent our money to the animal shelter, and with that money we combined with our hat day, our teacher dress down day, and um, National FFA gave us a mini grant that we applied for and we used that money to um, go and buy supplies to make dog treats and cat toys and dog toys. So we started our Kiss the Cow a few years ago. One of the first times we did it was with a girl named Mary Ellis and she was involved in an, a fire and we wanted to um, help her out with like her grafting costs and her hospital stays. So we do it to support our FFA members and give back to our community. Okay, Mrs. Moose, you're the lucky winner. 
Are you ready to give Siren a big kiss? Give me a minute to get ready. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Siren, you make milk for people near and far. Many don't realize how wonderful you are. You can digest corn unlike myself. You put cheese and butter on the grocery shelf. You're a curious creature, a true gentle beast, calm natured and sweet to say the least. I'm not sure how you feel about this kiss. Chloe Bort says it's something that she won't miss. Madeline Dietrich is so sweet to bring her cow for a smooch that you shall see now. All thanks to Mr. Kurzawa for his finishing touch into my yellow cup that was set up at lunch. And for all of you dear students watching today, your donations are appreciated by animals who have no say. <laughs> Mrs. Moose, on a scale of one to 10, what would you rate that kiss? Um, I'd go with a solid 10, but don't tell my husband. <laughs> this was a fun story to cover. Thank you all for your time. And now back to Eli and Janai. Well done, Apollo. And thank you to Melanie Dietrich Cochran for bringing in her cow and to Mrs. Moose for being such a good sport. On Tuesday's show, we'll have highlights from Mamma Mia and interviews with the cast. Thank you for watching, and as always, 